I wanted you to see this, Nate, because, you know, over there where you were working on putting the, the ropes on, the sashes back in, all that kind of stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. um, the last thing you put on was the stops, okay? And um, that's, that's kind of natural the way it is, right? The way it's supposed to be. Um, so anyway, I come over here, okay? And these windows don't look right, so I have to investigate to see what's going on okay when I mean, you've got a when you've got a sash here it's really you know it's a it's a good sash it's got a antique lock on it this profile here how it's rounded over that's a real nice profile that's called a lamb's tongue it's really nice you know um legit this is a legit handle okay but check this out okay so you see how this sash is riding up and down this track right here so um you can see that there's my rope I mean, it's a cheap rope, but whatever. You see that a lot. This piece here, that's acting as the window stop, right? Okay. And the window stop, you're supposed to take the window stop off to get the sash out. But guess what? Look at this piece. This piece here overlaps that piece. All right. So it's impossible to get this window sash out. All right. And... So what that I means, so anyway, what this is, is that's, that's evidence of some windows that came from somewhere else that somebody put in this opening here, okay, but they didn't know all the ins and outs and the whys and the what fors of an archetypal window, right? This is, I mean, they got a job done, right, okay? They, uh, the windows go up and down, uh, kind of, I mean... Maybe they do, but they, they, they will. But um, they put it together in a way that kind of looks the part, but they're missing those key details. You know, like on an archetypal window, the window stop can come off, pow, right? And it's, you know, it's supposed to, you know, the window stop actually overlaps this piece here. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So... So that you know, so that's that's really interesting. So, so I, I've got it kind of taken apart here a little bit. You know, um, I started taking this apart more, but without realizing that the mini blind is attached up there, so I kind of quit. But um, I took this this I had to take this casing board off to be able to take this oversized window stop because window stops are usually half inch. This is three quarters. All right, so it's. A little bit different you know and then I guess I got this weird piece of trim here that was acting as a back band I also don't have any stool here okay you know the stool is that piece that makes the transition from the casing to what's called the apron underneath the stool it's called the stool everything sits on the stool right so you've got a casing and then the casing sits on the stool the window stop sits on the stool and the stool like this piece here this piece here, this is acting as the stool, right? Because the stool goes up to the bottom sash, the bottom sash tucks in behind it. Okay, like that. So that, I mean, does it work? Yes, it works, okay? But, anyway, so the, the stool is supposed to overlap this piece here, which is called the apron. You know, apron goes around your, you know, your waist, you know, that kind of thing. So this is kind of like what that is there. So... It looks like instead of trying to work with what I have, I might have to take these frames out and rebuild them properly so they fit within the openings. I think one of the problems here is, and you can't see that, you can't see this from where, you know, from, you know, from where you're standing, but this is a two by six wall, meaning that this wall, the wall framing is five and a half inches. Okay, five and a half inches, five and a half inches plus your siding and plus, I guess they've got asbestos on the outside of that. So five and a half, six and a quarter, six and a half or three quarters plus sheetrock in the inside. So I probably got a good seven inches of wall there 
for this jam to cross. This jam is probably designed for a two by four wall. See what I'm saying? You know, a skinnier wall. So I'm gonna have to modify this, widen it or something. I'm not exactly sure. Because here's the other thing too, is if there's no blind stop on the outside, yeah, what's a blind stop? All right, well, I can show you. Man, oh. it's drizzling out here, but it's, you can't, there's not a better spot to really talk about this because here's that window that we were looking at on the inside, okay? And then right next to it, you know, is a legitimate archetypal window, right? And this is that blind stop that I was just talking about over on the other window, okay? You can see how the sash sits up against it there. Ah, but when we look at this one, okay, look and see how this is that casing, okay? That casing is actually holding the sash in place. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So there's no place for a screen to fit in here. Somebody, well, somebody did fit a screen of sorts in between, but it's a half screen, which I guess that's acceptable. Right. You know, but it's not the more advanced techniques, you know, that emerge over time that make the archetypal window what it is. It's, you know, archetypal window is a universal window and it works you know it's, it had all the design flaws worked out of it you know what i'm saying so assembling a window like this is kind of like going backward in time putting things together without considering what's being done what has been done so anyway i, I bet you we're going to make new frames for this this window is still here actually looks original original to the house. I don't know. I mean, the whole thing here is kind of old, but I don't know how old. This is like really old paint. So, 